hop right here again. Thought I'd come out here and show you some more of the artifacts we found out here on my property. Well, I didn't find them. A good friend of mine, Rick, comes down here and uh, metal detects. He's got one heck of a metal detector because he comes back here. I don't know how many people have been back here in these woods and with their metal detectors. And they find some things, but then he'll come right over where they were with his. I'll have to find out what it is. And he'll find stuff that, I mean, you can see that all of these, it's like 34 pieces there. I know he wasn't in the woods an hour and a half. There's a uh, neat little button right there. Still got the hook on it. I can't really make out anything on it. <clears throat> this looks like it might have been part of a button at one time, but it's, I don't know what happened to it, but I think these two things here might be old shotgun shell parts of the casing. But everything else is, you can see where a lot of them hit something. Oh, my buddy there, he, uh, he had a bad day a couple years ago. Yeah. And these uh, bullets here in the, in the frames, a real good friend of mine up in the Shenandoah Valley in Virginia. Uh, he's was probably one of the best historians on Civil War history I've ever heard. Uh, I'll show you. He put these in a frame for me. He passed away sadly but this past summer. And they were all of this was found at the Battle of Cedar Creek right there in Middletown, Virginia. Which is right down the road from uh, Newmarket where they had that great big battle in Newmarket. And he found 72, 73. They found thousands of artifacts up there, him and East. Two sons used to go all the time, and I used to love to hear the stories. And I'll show you on the back of this. <clears throat> all right, I'll turn them around. And he's got three ring mini, and those are the 570 caliber. As you can see, they're kind of pointed on the end. And then these are real neat, a lot smaller, and that's a coat dragon 44 caliber and then here he's got the Williams cleaner type 3 570 caliber and those you can see have the blunt blunt tips on them I didn't even know about any of that and uh, <clears throat> a few months before he passed away I went up there and we spent a whole day he took me back through a uh, all back through where the battle was at Cedar Creek. He knew where all the camps were and where Robert E. Lee was. And uh, it was just unbelievable what the knowledge he had about the Civil War and what went on up there. And I'll show you. I had a, this is a follow-up video of my woods back here. You can see that's a heck of a bunker over there. There used to be a fortress here, I guess you'd call it. But down over that hill, like I stated in the other video, it's uh, the James River. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon right now. But everywhere you look back here, it's bunkers. I mean, they're big ones my tree stand. I've got all kind of paths. I bring my backpack blower back here and just blow the paths out. You can see right here. And I can sneak up on the wildlife bin. Uh, I think they had their camp over there in the flat. 
know if I told you my friend's name is Rick. He went over in there the other day and found a whole whole bunch of stuff over in there. That's a big big bunker there. I'm getting ready to put that shovel he found us that he dug like 30 inches down in a bunker and uh, found it. A big tree had almost grown over it. I'm going to put that on eBay and see what it brings. But that's it for this uh, Civil War video. We're right here. At Harrison Landing, Dutch Gap, Drury's, Drury's Bluff, uh, we ain't but, uh, about 15 miles from uh, Coal Harbor. You know what, on, what went on there. But uh, we're right in the middle of all of it. But there must have been a lot of fighting going on right here. All right, that's it.